<laughs> of course, one walks right across the effing screen right there. Of course it does. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic with me, your host, Tim. In the last episode, we had killed a bunch of hounds out here on the Plains of Murder. And we laughed at the Irizazes, Irizai, the goat creatures, as they smugly walk around on camera, getting in the way of everything. I looked to remove them from the game, but I'd have to rerun all of the mods installers again. And I am worried if I do that, my save game will become incompatible. And so we're, we're going to be stuck with all the decisions I chose early on, which means... Iriaz is... Oh, oh, now they're all gone. They all left. They, they heard me threaten to take them out, and off they went. So we're going to be stuck with all the, all the decisions I made when I first began this playlist, because I do not want to redo about 20-something hours of work. <laughs> we're not going to do that. So, yeah. We also, in the last episode, solved the great murder mystery out here on the plains of Dantooine. Uh, we determined that, or it looks as if... Both of the people who had been outside with their rifles, or one claimed it to be running, the other claimed to be out there hunting, and both of them might have been doing those things, but one might have been running. One might have been running away from the law, and the other one was looking to uh, kill the person, accidentally, accidentally shooting him. Did you guys see what just happened? <laughs> Oh, here they all come. All right, anyway, and now we are near the grove, the sacred grove over here, and I also see a batch of, looks like, pirates, or the Mandalorian ra raiders, that's what they are, Mandalorian raiders over here. So we're going to go ahead and deal with the raiders first, I think. And I don't have any more energy shields on you, Jun. Let's go ahead and equip one. Everyone else has them. Okay, so we're going to kind of get a little closer. I see someone's armed with a blaster rifle, it looks like. All right, so let's pause the game, and we'll do energy shield on Jun. Energy shield on Zalbar. Energy shield on Karth. Ready. Okay, and Karth, we're going to run up with you a little bit more. Get out of the ear as its way. Okay. Oh, is this is this a we have to talk with them first? Sure. Thing. It is not. Okay. So, I think the Mandalorians are a little tougher than the Duros. What? But it's not. Okay. I have to get a little closer to begin the battle. All right. So, Karth, we're gonna have you deal with the Duros. We'll send two power blasts attack, and if it's still alive, do an improved rapid blast. Hopefully, it's almost dead. Jun. You're going what? to move up this way and throw a lightsaber and then Master Flurry a bunch. So far, we're going to move you up here and you're going to attack. Master Power attack. Attack, attack. Uh. Right. Their energy... Sh Karth, what, the what are you doing? Did you kill that Duras? What? You did. All right, come back over this way. And begin killing the other one. Jun is at half a hit points already. Yes. So, the thing about energy shields is that they absorb the damage done by our lightsaber. So even though the lightsaber does twice as much damage as our, looks like a short sword, when Zalbar is wielding it, but our prototype uh, or mission's vibroblade, it is absorbed by, by those shields. Good. That's what we needed you to do. Well done, Karth. Then you can just exchange fire with this guy for a little bit. Sure. How'd you like that? Let's disengage, John. Move you over here. You'll throw your lightsaber at this guy. Some guaranteed damage. Ooh, that looks like that's really gonna hurt me. Synchronized deaths. 
Awesome. Well done, everyone. We survived. Oh, what, what did he have on him? Mandalorian data pad. Let's get that. 13 credits and a frag grenade on the Duros. And what do these data pads say? I don't think we read the last one we picked up, assuming that one did indeed drop. So it'd be new items. I guess I should click on all of this. Jarg. Did you remember not to take the XT model bike out today? There was something funny with one of the intakes. I thought it could jam. Ha! Guess yourself lucky. If someone was dumb enough to take that thing out, he would have plowed right into the ground within a kilometer. And this one? Jarg, Jarg went missing in Sector B. Then Riza saw someone moving south of there. Take a couple of troops and find out who it is. They look suspicious. Terminate. Oh, they must talk about us. So that first data pad must have been what... Uh, must have been us. Oh yeah, wasn't there? Wasn't there thing uh, crashed? Originally, I think it was. And so we showed up there and killed them. This group was out here looking for us, and, but we killed them as well. Another Mandalorian data pad: Mandalorian melee shield, viral double blade. Era do strength amplifier. What does the strength amplifier do? We can't equip it there. We have strength gauntlets, which is plus one. This is strength plus two. This device uses microbursts of repulsor lift energy to assist actions in combat, giving the apprentice that, or giving the appearance that the user is stronger than normal. What's my current strength? Thirteen with the plus one. So we probably, so we do want the plus two one then. That will increase the damage we do slightly. Yep. Oh, by the way, hello. Hello, guys. <laughs> uh, all of my backlog is gone. So I actually can respond a bit to the comments you guys left me yesterday on the video. So, Bruno, yeah, you're here for the bombastic introductions. <laughs> Thank you <laughs> for being so kind. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just, I'm for some reason, I'm in a silly mood. Today it sounds like it's going to be one of those moods as well. And Daniel... Uh, pointed out that the Jedi do not seem to care about what happens with with the criminals. That this Jedi already knew what the results were, but didn't. But was going to side with whatever I decided. With the this is who's guilty and why, and the Sith at least are honest about the fact that they're not going to do anything ab about it. Everyone knows that's what you get when you're under Sith rule. I th I think it does matter though what you answer in that. Encounter? I think your reward is different when you get back to the Enclave, but I don't remember. It, it has been a long time. Karth, you can actually use... If you can, What gloves are you wearing? Oh, Bridget gloves. Those are still better. I guess we'll give you the strength, the strength gloves out, Zabra. They don't really help you, though. Actually, no, then let's not do that. Maybe... Maybe... What's her face? Bastula will benefit from it. Oh, and we got... Hold on. Let's search the, the backpack really quick. What were they guarding? An advanced repair kit, two med packs, and an advanced med pack. Okay. Should we do the teleport thing? We came from that path. Is that correct? I don't even remember. I think... Yes. Yes, we did. Okay, let's... Oh, sandal grounds. We're not here for the sandals. We're here for the grove. So we probably should explore all of it. I think... I think we will do the quick transit. So let's return to the Ebon Hawk. And then we transit back. Okay. Oh! But the creatures have respawned. We've got... Yeah, we've got the horned cat hounds back. Alright, well, let's let's kill them again. In the face! Do it again! In the face! We only have the first power to do it twice. <laughs> nice! Someone leveled! Karth level. Hey, congratulations, Karth. Ready. Let's go to your character. Oh, and the Mandalorian. Oh, this is the same Mandalorian dad pad we got before. Oh, I see. Each of the Mandalorians we killed out here had the same Mandalorian data pad telling him to look for us. Alright, where's where's your character? <laughs> here we go. Alright, so level up time for you, Karth. Actually, oh, too late now. Alright, two points. We don't really need security. Do I want awareness? 
and treat injury. Let's let's do that. And for feats, Karth, we should continue to upgrade. Yeah, your blaster pistol feats. Let's grab the master rapid shot. So he gets an extra attack and only suffers a minus one to defense while using the feat, and for three seconds afterwards. Yes. I guess we should kill all the. Cath Hounds. Let's kill this one. Throw the lightsaber. In the face. Bam! Looks like it stuns it. How'd you like that? Zalbar. Stop. Stop me. What am I doing? Yes. Okay. Good. Everyone put their weapons away. Everyone calm down. We need to wait for Jun to get his force powers back. Oh my god. That's going to take a long time. I guess we'll just have to talk about things. So they did a good job on the on the planes. It feels like a different planet. The trees look all st stubbish. And stuff like that. And I like the ridges. The little cliffs. That are scattered throughout this place. The rock formations are neat as well. And I like the idea of these ruins scattered around. I can't see them doing any farming out here, though. The soil looks like... Well, then again, there's some futuristic plants or something of the sort, I guess, is their agriculture out here. Or maybe they spend time hunting... Irazazes. Irazazes. Alright, we're gonna go kill this, this cat hound next. I know what they say, let sleeping cat hounds lie, but we're gonna kill it. Get it! I'll have to say, you guys can assist whenever you like. What's up there? Oh, we have another one. Charge! Oh! Uh oh! It was a trap! There's actually several of them. Alright, let's do a bunch of Master Flurries. Zalbar, let's attack and then master a bunch. Karth. Nope, that's me. Guess I'll change targets halfway through that. Karth, let's have you improve Power Blast. Ready? Sure. That hurt, I bet. Why? Why do you run up? Everything was fun with you standing back there, Karth. You didn't need to run up. <laughs> How'd you like that? I guess he just—he wanted to feel the blood of the cat hound on his face <laughs> after it died. Cause that's the only reason why I can think of he would need to run up when he doesn't when he has perfectly valid ranged line of sight to the enemy from right where he was what? standing. All right, I guess we're healing out here. So let's use a med pack. And med pack on yourself, Salbor. I guess we're using another one on you. Sure. Sort of is echoey out here in the plains of Dantooine. Must be something about the acoustics of the cliffs that are nearby. And it looks like there was someone out here in the ruins. Judd, you could have done something. <laughs> you could have just, you know, thrown your lightsaber to interrupt her. Or just about anything else, actually. Okay, so... Let's use the Mandalorian melee shield. What's, what's it do, actually? Bludging, piercing, slashing, 20 points total. Oh! This is not energy at all. Interesting. All right, so she looks like she is a Jedi. She looks like she has a lightsaber, and she did Jedi things to us. So we're going to start by using an energy shield. Wow, and she just tore right through the energy shield instantly. So let's go ahead and 
Hit her, energy shield again, and then flurry. <laughs> Then I think we will use our battle stimulant. Oh, I think she's buffing herself or something of the sort. Do we, what other force powers do I have? Do I have any other force powers? Or do, do I just have throw lightsaber? I can't remember. I think I just have... No, I have stun droid? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Guess we'll just master flurry a bunch. <laughs> She's too close for us to throw the lightsaber at her. Oh, you know, I, she's probably trying to stun us or something. You... You are strong. Stronger than me, even in my darkness. Why did you attack me? I am Juhani. And this is my grove. This is the place of my dark power. This is the place you have invaded. When I embrace the dark side, this is where I sought my solace. It is mine. I don't know if you answered my question. You, you've been corrupting the cath hounds. Yes. Aren't they pretty? My pets. They like the smell of power I exude. They know their master. I harnessed true power when I struck down my master, Quatra. Power enough to crush the life from someone such as you. Or so I had thought. You slew Quatra, your master. Yes. I struck her down in the middle of training, consumed by my anger, embracing the power of hate. But it was not enough. What is it you want? Why do you bother me? You, you would... You, you, you attack me? <laughs> you attack me? The way this started was I walked up and then you, you stood up and then you proceeded to free Zalbar in place. And then I was like, what, what's going on? Zalbar, are you feeling all right? You look kind of like you're stunned or something. And then you did the same thing to Karth. And I was like, Karth, holy crap. It's happened to you too. Is it the girl? Is the girl in front of us doing this? It looks like she might be doing it. And then you attacked me. <laughs> that is pretty much what happened. And I defend myself by using a power shield which you choose through instantly. I was sent by the council to cleanse this taint. Uh, hold on, let's see here. So, why are you doing this? I have fallen. And dark power courses through my veins. I can never go back to the council. So here, I shall stay. She's, she's putting it like a matter of fact. Like like a 2 plus 2 equals 4 type of thing. She's, she's like, well, I killed my dark master. I'm now a dark uh, Jedi. This is it. Yeah, I, I now have to choose a place to live. It's going to might as well be this place and so on. It could, it's like there's no nuance uh, here. Well, I just want to talk. Talk. You who have beaten me so easily just want to talk? I do not believe it. Kill me now while you still have the power. Uh, there is no anger, there is only peace, right? So, we could try a persuade check to s skip the correct answer. But I don't want to even say I'm here from the council. Because I, I don't really want her to go back to the council. If she doesn't want to go. But on that same note, she can't keep harassing the people with her cath hounds here. It sounds like, though, she is choosing between two extremes. And I, I don't know if I agree with that. I don't hold anger towards you, Juhani. I wish you peace. Not anger. Peace. Yet even with your naive attitude, you managed to beat me. I am pathetic. I sit here and thank myself to be great by embracing the dark side, but I am nothing. There is no way I could be turned back. I always thought they held me back, or jealous of my power. But this is only because I was not good enough to meet their standards. I never have been. Whoa! Wow! She's going all over the place with her emotions.
<laughs> so what, what are my answers? So if I don't want the persuade answer, I can say, why are you even thinking like that? Which is actually my reaction right then. Uh, like, that's my initial reaction and what I probably would choose. Maybe you shouldn't have been a Jedi then. I don't... Standards cannot apply to everyone. Well, that's... I don't... I don't know. Is that right? I mean... Sure, but she wanted to become a Jedi. The first step on the path of true knowledge is knowing that you are ignorant. I don't know if I agree with that either. Maybe, you know what, let's choose the persuade option. Come now, Jahani. You're a beautiful young woman who has much talent. I thank you for your kind words, Jedi. I seem to still have much to learn, both about being a Jedi and about myself. But I wish the cost of my ignorance had not been so high. I wish that my master had not suffered because of me. I like her voice actress, actually. I like the accent. <laughs> I suppose there's no hope. I must kill you then. Uh, life is suffering. Your master knew the risks. Life is a learning experience. Even in death, the Force will allow her to leave. There is no death. There is the Force. So this is the correct answer here. So let's choose that one. Even in death, the Force will allow her to live on. If she were alive now, there would be so much I would say to her. So much I would apologize for. How can the Council ever take me back with what I have done? Striking my master down in anger is unforgivable. <laughs> yeah, your master surely won't be forgiving you. That's not what we're going to say. The Council may forgive a lot anger. Show them you have freed yourself of this base passion. Your forgiveness must be asked. So I haven't even mentioned the consul to her, but she is thinking about maybe this wasn't the right choice and she will go back for more training. I think, I think I'll choose three. The consul may forgive a lot. The consul may forgive a lot, but not this. I am lost. Even though I would repent, there is nowhere left for me to go. Leave me to my hopelessness. Okay, so we didn't quite get the answer. Um, or rather the answer. We didn't quite get the result I was looking for, which is that she is another one of your uh, members who can join you. But let's go back to the Consul, and maybe we can persuade them to take her back. The young Cathar apprentice Juhani is the source of the dark taint permeating the Meditation Grove. She has fallen to the dark side, although perhaps not as completely as she believes. To remove the taint, you must complete the final trial. You must convince her to release the dark feelings... Or destroy her and remove the taint forever. Let's go back to the console and we'll see if they will actually forgive her. I th I'm remembering a actually what occurred at this point. It's amazing how my mind reminds me of the quests and what to say in them as I make some progress. Where are we going? I think we're going to the path north. Let's go all... Um, that's where we came from, Tim. Was it? I'm lost! Oh! We, oh! The Cathounds are all respawning in this area. I guess that's kind of good, because it gives us more experience points. Assuming we don't use all of our... Um, all of our med... <laughs> I suppose I should always be throwing my lightsaber to start. Oh, okay, so we don't want to go that way. All right, yeah, we should be using my force points if they're available. Yeah, the horned cathounds are always spawning. I don't remember them respawning so often. All right, I guess uh, no. Let's not let's not kill it. If we don't have to. There'll probably be another one out this way anyway. Yep, you can see it stomping around out here. It's tongue out, looking all menacing. Well done, guys. Oh, I'm running. Should I be running? I should be running. Yes. We're in a rush. Before Jahani changes her mind, we would like to convince her. 
that the Council will forgive her, assuming that they will indeed do so. Oh, let's talk with this guy really quick. Hey, let me see what you're selling. Right, I might have some things I want to sell him. Let's see. Uh, I don't think we need the standard clothing any longer. We're not going to need the blaster carbine we picked up. I think everything else I do want, though. Wow, so we don't really have a lot I'm willing to part with. We haven't solved any of these people's problems quite yet, right? We want to kill all the Mandalorian raiders. We've only killed a handful of them at the moment. Okay, so... Let's head to the Consul, and we'll talk with them first. Then we'll head to the Ebon Hawk to get healed really quick, and then we'll head right back out there again. And that is not the way to the Jedi Consul. You have things to talk about, Tim? <laughs> Maybe I am already? So, it seems to me like my increased dex is not really helping very much when it, when it comes to not being hit. Like, every single attack from these enemy creatures seems to be smacking me in the face. I'm not... I'm not sure that the wearing armor route is something I actually care about at this rate. If I'm just going to be hit, then maybe I want to not just... Maybe I just want to wear robes so I can have access to all the different force powers. Uh, Vandemar. Uh, Vandemar. Good evening, apprentice. I trust your training goes well. My training is progressing quite well. I have faith that you will achieve the rank of Padawan soon. I wanted to ask you about something else, but that's okay. I see you insist on wandering the halls of our enclave. Yes, I would like to ask some questions. I suppose such desires are inevitable. Do, do, do. Why does the Council not stop the Mandalorian raiders, Master Vruk? So you heard about them, did you? They've been harmless up till now. It is tragic that someone had to die before we took action. You have our leave to deal with the murdering Mandalorian raiders, should you encounter them. Okay. That's fantastic. Good evening, Apprentice. I have some questions. A Jedi must... Yes. Um, I still can't talk to you about Juhani, though. Uh, why does the Council do nothing about the Mandalorian raiders? The Mandalorians have not hurt anyone before now. We thought they would keep their activities down with our presence here. But it seems we were tragically wrong. You may deal with the Mandalorian Raiders should you meet them. It might be good training to test your fighting skills this way. Is there anything else you would like to know? Yes, I would like to tell you about Johanni, but I can't do so. Very Dorak. Reading as can you... I, can I talk to you about it? I can't. Bastila. If you have questions, you should. All right. No one here. Wants to tell me about Juhani and her master. Maybe Tsar Leston can. The dark side still taints the ancient grove. Your lessons cannot continue until the spreading corruption of the dark side has been stopped. I'm here to ask some questions about that, and no one's being helpful. Let's see. Tardiok? Do, do, do. Nope. Actually, do you know anything about the corrupted grove? No, she doesn't. All right. Thanks for nothing, Jedi Council. You're not acting to save people. You're not acting to help me. Oh, okay. Let's try up here. So what's going through my head is I am aware, I believe, that her... Johanni's master is actually still alive. She is not dead. She was just wounded. And I thought someone told me that, and I was able to tell her that. Uh, Akupad? But that doesn't seem to be the case. Let's see. Uh, I guess we'll... Belaya? Greetings. Soon. I'm looking to alter my lightsaber, and I heard about some caves. There are caves on Dantooine that hold those rare crystals. 
But be warned, Apprentice, they are dangerous. You should not meddle in things beyond you. I wish you luck in your training, Apprentice. You can wish me luck in going to get those crystals. But I'll do that later, I suppose. Or while, or while we're out there. But I was hoping... I was hoping to meet... If someone could tell me about the Apprentice. Achuta. I'm looking for crystals. We are, okay, so no one here has the information I thought they would have. He's not going to have it either. All right, so uh, I guess we go into the Ebon Hawk in order to heal. And we still take Salbar and Karth out with us. All right, well, that kind of stinks. Hmm. Is there anyone else? Maybe Nemo knows the answer? Let's go back and talk with Nemo. And if he doesn't, we'll just go back and talk to Jahani again. Maybe it'll give me the same uh, conversation tree choices. I should have saved the game before I talk with her. But I, I kind of don't like doing that. I don't like safe scumming. It's been... S oh, okay. So hold on. So let's back up. So... This is a game where I'm probably going to die once or twice in it. And if it's a roguelike, then I would stop playing the game right then and there. So, save scumming is not a thing in this game. Right? Is that... Does that... Yeah, I think that's correct. There are some games that save automatically after every choice you make. And save scumming was the term used when you would go and find out where the save file was written to, make a backup of it so you could reload it to... A, Avoid the consequences. It is good sometimes to stop and reflect on the beauty of nature. How go your studies, my young friend? Is there something I can help you with? Uh, I was give, I've been given a task by the Consul. Indeed. What do you know of the Tainted Grove? The Consul had... Oh, we've already... Do not... Be is okay, we've, we've already... I we've already asked that. Okay, so no one here can help me out. Great. Thanks for nothing, Jedi Order. So, yeah, so, I don't view, I guess, since you can manually save, I don't really view it as save scumming. You can make an argument that it is, the, if you're not happy with the result, you're trying for a better result than the ones, the one presented to you right then and there. But I don't think that's save scumming. That would be just undoing the choice you had done. It, well, isn't that what you're doing for the save, well... The difference is that this game doesn't save after every single thing you do. And it lets you save manually, and it lets you reload the game. Things that generally roguelike games don't let you do. It was Rogue the first game that had that mechanic in it? I guess it was. Yeah, I guess it was, wasn't it? I can't think of another one that was like that. I never played Rogue or NetHack was another one, I think. Or Adam was... Yeah, I never played any of these games growing up. Uh, most of the games I played were, <laughs> were games where if it had been a roguelike, I would have, uh, I would have uh, punched the monitor <laughs> over and over and over again. What did I grow as long as we're going on all sorts of different tangents, what did you grow up with, Tim? Pool of Radiance, the original Quest for Glory series, Space Quest, and so on. Though in the end, I did try playing all those games without reloading. I would try actually playing all of them without even dying. And if I did, I would delete the game and start all over again. I began applying that attitude to like the Choose Your Own Adventure books. Like the Lone Wolf book series and the Ninja book, uh, Way the Tiger book series that I owned and so on. Because I wanted a harder, a greater and greater challenge. In the face! Do it again! In the face! In the face! <laughs> Alright, well done. 350 experience points. All right, Tim. Well, that was fun. You talked about random stuff for like four minutes. Now you have another 40 minutes to talk about random stuff. What do you want to talk about? All right, well, we're here, everyone. So thankfully, we don't have to talk to each other anymore. 
let's, uh, I guess we're gonna quick save. Just in case, I suppose. And let's talk to her again. I don't mind actually not getting Johanny as a companion. If we fail the compensation choices, that's fine with me. Um, we'll have to fight her then. But I don't think it ended that way. So, like, we're able to talk to her again. So let's go ahead and do so. I do not know what to do. Now that I have caused such suffering to my master and those around me. Okay, so we're able to get another choice, at, uh, another chance. So even in death, the force will allow her to live. So we'll say that again. How? So I guess, I guess like this is a, like a part of a play or an act, and because we didn't say something that she's been told to act on, she's giving us a second chance. I don't really want to say. Show them you have freed yourself from this base passion. Because I don't know if she has. I think five is... Five is a better... Five seems like a... A more... I don't know the word to describe it. See, it seems like a better, wiser answer. It nudges her that she should go and ask, and that she knows she she feels guilty. She should do it. And I don't know if this is an accurate statement. She might say no, though, to this. She might say no, like, I can fight and you can kill me instead. I don't have to ask for forgiveness. Anger? Show them that you have freed yourself of this base passion. That's what the Jedi would say. If I show them, I am free of passion. That I am serene. That I am willing to forsake the dark side. And maybe, just maybe, they would accept me back. Do you think they would? Could it be possible after what I've done? Wow, lots of interesting answers. Your inner peace and harmony will show them your sincerity. I thank you, Master Jedi. I will return to the Council then. I shall submit myself to their judgment and hope they will forgive me. Again, I thank you. I am sure I will hear great things about you in the future. All right, good luck, Jahani. And I think... She will now be uh, able to be taken as a member of our group, since we did not kill her. Another Mandalorian melee shield. Mesh underlay med pack two battle stimulants. She mentioned how stronger we are, even even compared to her in her in her dark place. But really, that was just a battle stimulant, <laughs> giving us like a plus four to hit and plus one damage or something something silly like that. All right, it just occurs to me that we can actually equip, like, two shields on each of our characters. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And Karth, I think we'll give you a second energy shield. All right, there we go. Sure. All right. That was, that was not so difficult in the end. All right, so now where? I think with the Tainted Grove cleansed, we're now supposed to go back and talk to the consul some more. But I think instead we'll stay out here and kill a few more cath hounds. Time to rumble! I really like throw lightsaber. I like the fact it stuns the creature. I don't remember it saying it did that. Oh, we missed quite a bit. There's some loot out here, too. There's some remains of something. Oh, the other Duros. Okay, probably. What do you guys think? I think a frag grenade in, like, 11 bucks. Let's see. 29 credits and an adrenal alacrity. I'm very sure that backpack doesn't have anything in it. All right, so... Let's keep exploring the plains. Let's go to the Sandal Grounds. This is another one of the houses, if I recall correctly. The Great Houses... Here's something bashing something else. Throw a frag grenade, go! 
Yeah! Boom! Goes the frag grenade. Let's throw the lightsaber and then do a bunch of attacks. We have to do a master power. Master power, and then we attack, attack. Karth! Look, you just. What are you doing? Just standing there, staring up. Like, oh, look at that cliff. That's a mighty foul looking cliff. I like the way that the ledge kind of droops down, like that slope right there. The clouds over it. Karth! We have a fight we need you to, to take part of. Please engage in the battle. Uh huh. Have we killed any of them yet? Well, where did where'd this little one come from? Kill the little one! What am I doing? Uh, we are... Sure. Master Fleuring? Alright, yes! All right, two of them are dead. Oh, I thought the little one was, was dead. I, I guess it was just knocked down. Flurry that, Karth. There's no reason why you. I guess you shouldn't be using a rapid shot on everything. Uh -huh. It's an extra attack without uh, any. Well, I guess it lowers his defense. Let's go. Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, there's a robot over there. Let's save the robot. Yes, of course. We, whoa, we just barely saved them. Hello. Thank you for saving me, Master Jedi. I am C842, a personal assistant droid. That was quite a beating you took. That was not that bad, compared to what I had to endure back at my owners. They... abused you? That would be one way of putting it. I'm afraid my owner became a bit too attached to me. Obsessed, even. She she tried to treat me as her dead husband. It was not healthy for her. Uh... All the time? You don't want to know. Oh, wow. I am so sorry. She is obsessed. She rarely sees other people and appears to be fixated on me as her husband. She was becoming more and more insular. I thought it best that I leave. She may meet other real people this way. In fact, that was the reason I came here and sought out those cat hounds. You sought them out? I think it would be best if I were no longer a factor. She would meet new people, living people. Please, will you destroy me? Well, that's a real mean thing to do. Yeah. I'll destroy you and tell her why you did it. Thank you, kind sir. You have my eternal gratitude. All right. Droid destroyed. Destroyed. <laughs> oh my god, Tim. And there goes there goes the three subscribers who are watching this playlist, and and other few other people are like, not interested in watching this anymore. If the puns are going to be that bad, Tim. <laughs> That's good though, right? That's good. Destroyed. I'm I'm proud of that one. That one that one's pretty good. That one's pretty good. Come on. I, I see Zalbar is not too happy with it though. Let's med pack yourself twice, Zalbar. Sure. So, I think having learned why the droid did it, I think this is the best way for her to indeed meet new people and live a healthier mental life. So, I agree. And it's just a droid. Um, although it has emotions, it asks to be killed and it's not a living creature. So, I don't think I have a problem with Jun destroying it. A uh, Jun's attitude toward robots will be that they are indeed just robots. I suppose that's what we'll do. Should I even be in here? I'm not sure. Well, we're we're here now, so let's see what's let's see what's waiting us in the cave of death. Kinrats. 
Oh, they're like praying mantises or something. They're also together. Throw the grenade! Bam! Throw the lightsaber. You, you two can help whenever you like! <laughs> they're just like, they're just walking like, yeah, Jun, you got this, you got this, bro. You got this. Like, I might got this, but some help would be appreciated. All right, there we go. <laughs> you guys are here to help. We're not here to watch. Those are the viewers at home who are watching the playlist. I can't have them throw grenades. That would just be really weird. Right, throw another one. Yes! Throw another one while you're at it. Do it! And throw, throw a lightsaber. Throw all the things! Well, oh, they're really quick. I can't help but notice, notice John, that not only do you get hit a lot, you miss a lot. <laughs> oh, by the way, um, I looked it up again, uh, Daniel, and I did notice that it it does indeed seem that if your dex is higher than strength in this game, when it comes to lightsaber combat, the game will use that as your two-hit modifier, but not your damage modifier. It's a free feat that, that is not on your character sheet, and the game doesn't tell you that you get. That wasn't the case for the second one, it turns out. Alright, let's just... Oh, wait. Let's uh, disengage. I'm going to move all you guys up. This time. Because I can have you attack other ones. Jun. We'll throw a lightsaber, attack, and then you'll master flurry. Karja. You should be... Uh, we'll have you attack this back one. Everyone gets their own uh, foe to fight. Oh, or, or everything can attack Zalbar. We'll do a bunch of rapid shots. Zalbar will attack normally once. That one looks like we killed one. Two master swipes. I'm gonna hope you kill it with that Master Flurry, or the other one, and then we'll go over here and help fight. Yes. Here. Oh, they can poison! They can poison! This one is not dead. Never. Right, victory. You took no damage, Jun, but Zal poor Zalbar. I guess it doesn't help that Zalbar can't wear armor, so he he doesn't have anything to help deflect uh, the damage he's taken. All right, crystal formation. You've acquired lightsaber crystal. Okay. How about this one? Another lightsaber crystal. What, what, are we, what are we getting? A blue crystal, a rubat crystal. So the color crystals, to my knowledge, only affect the color of the lightsaber, but not anything else. The rubat crystal, though, does. This will uh, affect some sort of combat. Uh, it'll, it'll affect the, uh, the damage it does. It might affect the chance to hit. We're going to search all the crystals while we're here. I think there might be crystals in the eggs as well, if I recall correctly. Let's see. Yeah. A crystal is found in the remains of the egg. I thought we could search the body, but I guess we can't. Yeah. We get another one. Another crystal. Um, let's let's kill what does three one more egg and we'll search one more formation.
Okay, and I think that will do. I think that was everything. I thought we could search- Okay, we can search the corpse. It just wasn't, uh, didn't let us do that one time. Durasteel bonding alloy response package. Response package is a implant. What does this one do? Plus one dex. I like my plus one awareness immune to critical hits. And you're using a cardio package. What's- actually, what's my dex? 16. Now we'll keep what I got. All right, let's level myself up before I keep forgetting. So, I think we'll take Persuade, Repair, Persuade. Let's do that at the moment. And for feats, I'm never going to wear heavy armor. I don't care about that either. We could continue to pump our dueling. This will give us another plus one to hit and another plus one to defense with ranged and melee weapons. We could take toughness rank two to take two less damage from all attacks. Or I could begin taking something like critical strike. I kind of like maxing the things I've got. Like, I, I wouldn't mind having Master Dueling, Improve Toughness, and then we go down another tree for a, another weapon skill. But maybe it would be better. Plus one to hit and plus one defense. Or if I take this now... The next level, oh, my defense is always going to be minus five whenever I use this. It's just, it just lowers the threshold to make a critical hit. Hmm. Okay, let's let's take that. Let's finish up dueling. We will take master dueling. So we'll go from plus two to hit and plus three to defense. Sorry, plus two to defense, plus two to hit, to plus three to defense and plus three to hit. We get a new force power. I can't take destroy droid yet. So I guess we'll keep taking the neutral powers next level, I might dip into either the Force Lightning Branch, or maybe take a heal. I'll decide next. I'll, I'll decide off screen. So let's take Advanced Throw Lightsaber. So this does the same thing our normal Throw Lightsaber does, only it now can strike a group of people. Uh, instead, it affects, I think, up to three people. So it's like kind of like a Chain Lightning, if you want to think of it that way. Only it's, it's a lightsaber. I'm <laughs> not lighting at all. All right, done. All right, John. What do we have for our crystals? We have a Bondar crystal, a green crystal, three red crystals, and two rubats. I want one more and a yellow crystal, but I want one more crystal. So we're going to destroy another egg. No, come on. Uh, we'll be we'll be fine. I don't want to kid destroy all the eggs. Oh, I do actually, <laughs> but uh, the spiders can continue, or whatever these the kin rats kin rats can continue to live down here. We we won't wipe them all out. And with this done, I guess we'll go back to the console. We'll work on our lightsaber a tad, and then we'll. We'll wrap it up. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do all that stuff. I suppose we should go with the Ebon Hawk first, though, in order to get Zalbar healed. 
And I think with the experience we'll earn, I think Zalbar might level up. And we'll take a different group out with us when we go back out here again. Okay, so let's do the fast traveling. Alright, guys. Alright, so... I guess we talk to the Twi'lek trainer. Oh, that was something else you mentioned, Daniel. How you're already getting tired of the aliens' quips. Their limited vocabulary of what they'll of what they'll say. The interesting thing about it is that I, the more I play the game, the more I can anticipate like when to skip their dialogue if it makes sense to do so. Like, for really short sentences, I'll, I'll try to cut their, what they say off at the pass before they have a chance to say, like, an entire f three paragraphs of sayings to say, like, one single sentence. Hello, I must Johnny. I give you my thanks. Because of you, I am once again welcome within the Jedi Order. Hey! Did you learn anything more about Quatra? Quatra's injuries were not so severe as I first believed. I was foolish to believe I could harm a master such as she with my, my clumsy efforts. The fierce confrontation between us was nothing more than part of my training. Quatra wanted me to understand the threat of the dark side, to see how easy it was to fall from the path of light. Oh, where is she now? Actually, I'm, I'm gonna go with this. That's pretty harsh. Quatra's methods may seem strange, but I trust her wisdom. This lesson has been difficult, but I am better because of it. Humility is never easy to teach, but now I truly understand my own limitations. After our last battle, Quatra had nothing left to teach me. I needed time alone to explore the turmoil of my own spirit. Only then was I ready to follow a guide, you, back to the light. When I left, Quatra knew her work with me was done. There are other disciples who need training throughout the galaxy. And she could not stay to see if I passed this most difficult trial. With your help, I have passed this difficult trial. The Council now feels I am ready to continue with my training, though they have asked me to wait here for the time being. First the Jedi trick you into becoming an enemy, then they welcome you back as a friend. I, I can't say I approve of their training methods. <laughs> I do not know what the Council has in store for me, but I will trust in the Force and the way of the Jedi to help me through whatever is to come. Oh, good for her. I guess she approves of the training methods. I agree with Karth. I, that's... I mean, I guess if you have the ability to force choke people, they want to try to make sure you're not going to go around and do that uh, if someone beats you in a game of chess. But... Uh, I don't know. That that does seem like a rather harsh way to to teach someone. But I suppose learning firsthand what it means to join the dark side, how easy it is to give in to those uh, to those feelings, and I guess abuse your powers. I guess there's no better teacher than than that exact thing. Oh, uh, I was I was hoping I could work on my. My lightsaber there, but I cannot do so? Okay, I guess that's back at the, on the Ebon Hawk then. You have done well, my pupil. The ancient grove has been purified, and Juhani's journey down the dark path has been halted. Because of you, she walks once more in the light. But though she was saved, do not dismiss what happened to her. Juhani is both dedicated and true to the ideals of the Order, yet she was still vulnerable to the dark side. As are we all. She struck her master in anger during her training, and injured her greatly. But it was Quatra's choice to test Juhani this way, and it seems to have made its point. Juhani has been redeemed, and you have passed your final test. Congratulations, Apprentice. Or should I say, congratulations, Padawan. You have proven yourself worthy of joining the Jedi. Let me be the first to welcome you as a full-fledged member of our Order. Thank you. We gained 800 experience points, and we received an item of some sort. I guess he's going to go out there and stand near the console. Zalbar did not level up. I was expecting him to do so. We gained a Jedi robe. So... 
What's my current equipment? Oh my god, I never know where to go for this. Here it is. Okay, so we're using defense 7, max dex bonus 5, 20 resistance versus cold and fire. The Jedi robe is a defense bonus 1, so our defense goes from 25 to 19. Oh, we do look kind of cool in it. But no, I think I'll st I prefer my Ichani fiber armor. Oh, there's a workbench here. Hello, workbench. Thought you could hide from me here in plain view where everyone in the world can see it. All right, what, what crystals do we have? So we have a Rubot crystal, which is plus one to hit and plus one damage. And we have a Bondar crystal, which is a 20% chance, a 25%. When we hit the target, it has a difficulty 10 check to make. And if it fails it, then it's stunned for two rounds. This crystal was mined on a far orbit asteroid circling the Aldaran system. It produces a volatile lightsaber beam that pulses on impact, discharging part of its energy into an opponent. That's not true. This 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 crystal was found in an egg in a cave. <laughs> guess guess we're going with that story though, huh? Uh, let's choose a different color crystal. There we go. Blue is the color of the counselors, and we won't have one for some time. I think Juhani, when we get her, is, is she a sentinel or is she a warrior? I can't remember. And Bachelor is a sentinel, so she'll have a yellow lightsaber. And I want everyone to have different colored lightsabers. It's just a thing. All right, so let's talk with the... It is a thing, Tim. Yes, let's talk with the council again. Um... Master Vandar. It is good to see Johnny has returned to the way of the light. You are to be commended for your role in this. Your actions give us great hope for the future. Your training is now complete, Padawan. And perhaps now, it is time we dealt with the matter of the dream you and Bastila shared. When we heard of the ruins in your dreams, Master Dorok recognized it as one of a series of ancient structures here on Dantooine. This one in particular lies to the east of this enclave. We sent a Jedi to investigate, but he has not returned. Perhaps sending him in the first place was a mistake. The Force is guiding you through your visions. It may be that exploring the ruins is a task tied to your destiny. That is why the Council has now decided you should be the one to investigate this. The secrets to stopping Malak may be hidden within those ruins. You must investigate them and find what Revan and Malak were looking for. What happened to the Jedi who went to investigate? We do not know. That is one of the things you must investigate. We fear the worst. Is there anything else you want to know? Yes. What is the worst? Is the worst he's dead? Or is the worst like he's an undead Darth Jedi now in, in, in there commanding a host of lesser Darth Jedi? Uh, no, there's nothing else I want to know, but I have no choice but to ask you about Bastila. 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 Okay. Um, Bastila was there when Revan was slain. Did you know that? Yes, I did. Uh, I'll be going now. The okay. We gotta take some, some people with us. I guess Bastila... Oh, Bastila has to come with us. Alright, that's fine. And I guess we'll take Karth as well, then. I'm not... Uh, yeah, we're not gonna take these others. Doesn't... I don't think... Oh, mission could be helpful in a ancient ruin for traps. No, we'll we'll stick with Karth at the moment. We'll bring we'll bring good guy team while we're in the ruins. I demand justice. The Central Family is a blight upon Dantooine. They must be punished. The Council will look into this matter, Mr. Metale. You must be patient. Your accusations have no proof, and we do not want you stirring up trouble with the Sandrals if there is some mistake. Mistake? My son Shen is missing. How can there be any doubt the Sandrals are to blame? There are other possible explanations for your son's disappearance. Ah, you Jedi are good for nothing but talk. I shall only wait so long before I take action on my own. As dangerous as the threat from Darth Malak and the Sith may be, we Jedi cannot simply abandon our other responsibilities. The Council has promised Alan Matali 
we will look into a son's disappearance. Should you have time, Padawan, you may want to investigate this matter. Are you sure you don't want to abandon it, Master Vandar? You, you're, the Jedi Council is pretty good at abandoning everything else on this planet to the whims of fate. Is there anything else I should know? These two families have been settled here for some years now. And causing me no end of trouble. Indeed. They have been settled here for some time, and feuding ever since. What caused this feud? I do not know how the original feud started, but they want nothing to do with each other. As you may have heard, Alan Matali believes that his son, Shen, has been kidnapped by Nurik Sandral. Curiously, Nurik's son, Cassus, has been missing for some time as well. I fear Nurik may suspect Alan in this. Is there anything else you wish to know? So, they both have sons, and they both believe the, they've been kidnapped by the other family member. Where are they settled? Both families have settled to the south of this enclave. The Matalis are the closer of the two. Both have similar estates, but Alan is much more paranoid about his, and guards it quite heavily. Is there anything else you wish to know? I will investigate this if there is time. If Shen Matali has not returned to his father, it may ignite a savage and bloody feud between the Matali and Sandral estates. We must not allow that to happen. Your study and training are important, of course. But the Jedi are not a cloistered order. Our influence and teachings must spread beyond the walls of our academies. It is in our real world that we truly prove ourselves worthy of the title Jedi. You would do well to remember this young Padawan. Not to mention that I wouldn't mind getting out of this enclave for a bit. I mean, come on, how bad could it be? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills! Karth, you are just outside killing bugs! Do you remember this? And you, Vruk, you old fart! If you need to get it done, why don't you get off your butt and go and get it done yourself? <laughs> For crying out loud. <laughs> and you didn't act, which is, why, which is why people have died in the past. Why the Mandalorians are here. You guys are just, you guys are just all dumb. How can I help? Hey, Bastila. Sorry, I accidentally clicked on you. Then I suggest we move on. No, we didn't really talk about the dream with Master Vandar very much. Only the fact that, it, that there's the ruin involved. Just would like to point that out. I'm here. Good, because we need to level you. Oh, like, oh wait, I never know which one of these it is. All right, let's level you up, and then we'll call the session, everyone. So for your attributes, you get one point. Well, we know... Oh, we don't know where that's going. Where is that going? So, wisdom and charisma will affect her force powers. Dex will affect her hit Hmm. Or we could level strength slightly, give her the gloves, and then she does a little more damage when she swings. I do plan to have her casting spells a bit, so maybe we work on her charisma or her wisdom. So the question here is, do we want... Okay, so charisma doesn't help us... It doesn't help her... As much as wisdom, oh, maybe it would. So charisma will affect some of her force powers. Wisdom affects others. Wisdom also affects her saving throws. Charisma does nothing else for her when it comes to stats. Intelligence isn't going to be helpful. I have to level constitution. It's too late in her character's life for constitution because she's level... She's about to hit level 10? I think she leveled twice, Tim. She's getting a stat point. This this would be the level eight stat point, I think. <sighs> Let's put it in wisdom. Oh, what do you recommend, game? Wisdom. Okay, that, that's okay. I, I want that as well. Let's do that for her skills. Two points. So we know we're going with stealth. <laughs> Let's keep leveling her stealth. As for powers, 
She can't take heal yet. She can't take that yet. Oh, she can't take a whole lot at this level. In fact, I'm forced to take a new skill. She can't take any... What What you... I guess the only thing she's going to recommend for her then is energy resistance. Is that correct? No, stun droid. Um, I don't really want her having stun droid. Because I have stun droid. And I'm always going to be around. So... I don't want that. What else do we have? I don't want wound on her. I kind of don't want any of these skills. <laughs> I want to... Do I have to put this point into a skill? Uh, I want her to use buff spells, not offensive spells. So let's take energy resistance with her. And she's leveled again. This is now her at level 9, which is, I think, the level she is actually at. We're leveling stealth! Let's go ahead and do that. For her feats, we have to take Master Flurry. I, I like Master Flurry, he's a pretty good guy. All right, what are we taking here now? So, uh, I don't really need her having advanced throw lightsaber. I'm thinking Knight Valor or Knight Speed. I think the speed. She increases her defense by four and she gets plus one attack. If I recall correctly, Burst of Speed is like this entire... Uh, tree, this this line of skills here, is incredibly powerful. And I think it works as well with Master Flurry. So, you get three attacks per round if you, uh, once you take it, I think, to the second rank? Yep. Okay. Oh, you've almost leveled again. You just need 100-something experience points, Bastila. Karth, you and I are quite some time distance away. Okay. Alright, so... Let's go and quickly put the other crystal into Bastila's lightsaber. And then I think we're done. Let's see. So let's upgrade. Right, we've got no other... I don't have either of these. Mission Survivor Blade... Oh, did I accidentally sell the prototype rubber blade? Looks like I might have done that. Because I don't see it here. Yeah, looks like I accidentally sold the prototype vibro blade. I guess it doesn't matter. I, I don't plan on using it with anyone. Alright, so... That will do it for us, everyone. Thank you guys for watching. When we come back, we'll head on out there and we'll begin getting some other tax tasks completed. I'm thinking we will investigate what's going on with the Sandral and Metali families first. So I'll, we'll see you then. Thank you all for watching and take care, everyone.